And we're back. <laughs> I thought you, I was going to get to do the intro. You, you want to do the intro? Well, it's too late now. You already did it. That's not an intro. That's a bit of an intro. Go ahead. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to shut it I'm down gonna, all right. while, while you do an intro. Okay. I'll do my best impression of you. What is up, everybody? This is Mad with Mikey Designs <laughs> and Shop Gnome. I forget what you say. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Okay, that's Yow. close enough. Yo, <laughs> it's me. We're just going to hang out here for a little while. Uh, wait for everybody to come in and um, stop holding your nose. Oh, my God. You're ruining my first intro. Sorry. That's what I do. Are we still on? That's my thing. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Start over. Hey, Ryan Beats. Hey, Roman. You can do it. Evening. Hey, you can do it. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to sit here for a second, wait for people to show up, and uh, apparently Matt's going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go take, Yo, a, Carl. take a whiz while Shannon takes the reins on this. Yeah, apparently I'm just going to be um, filling the dead air. So I have exciting news. I beat Super Mario Brothers 3. And would you go pee so I don't have to like talk about this for the entire like five minute intro? Why? You're going to talk about it anyways. Just go ahead. Keep talking. I'm letting you take the brains. I'm going to stand over here or, or sit over hey, here and, and say. Hey, uh, Sam Am. What's up, Riot Beats? Oh, what's Australia. Up, Abdel. <laughs> you can do it. What's up? Hey, Carl. Welcome back. Carl, you need to send us shirts, uh, pictures of the shirts. Yeah, I saw your email too, by the way, Carl. I've been I busy and I'm definitely going to get back to you. I didn't it, see any emails. You didn't see emails hey, Jurassic. From Carl? I'm not imagining that. Am I? What's up, Sam Am? Or is it, is it something like Sam Am? Mm hmm. Ah, morning in Australia. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks for. Hanging We're winding out it out our day. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jurassic? Go ahead, Shannon. I'm gonna I'm gonna read off some of the, the people that are chiming in while you kind of fill the the dead air. But tell us about Mario Brothers. What did you do? So I beat Super Mario Brothers three finally. <laughs> <laughs> so I took on a new project of um, Super Mario World, and Matt and I were actually talking about the fact that we're kind of pissed that they don't have the tanuki suit anymore and actually for those of you who don't know in japanese lore the tanuki suit or the tanuki is a japanese fox god and so they have it turned to stone in the video game and i am just trying to fill some freaking dead air right now because <laughs> i don't have a count i don't have a co-host here with me and he's just he abandoned me Hey, Carolina Screen Printing at Frostbite, Aaron Heat. Hello. Sam Austin Miner. Oh, Sam AM. There we go. So what is up, everybody? I have missed you guys. I swear, this is like my favorite part of the week. This is the reason that I actually do kind of still like Mondays. Just sitting here hanging out with you guys. And Matt is back. Help hey, me. You all right? You doing Okay. Well, I told them about how, you it's know, a Monday. Tanukis are Japanese fox gods. <laughs> oh, are they now? <laughs> they are. That's, uh, tanukis. And they won't pay you in money. They'll, like, they'll give you money if, you, if they visit your shop or your restaurant or whatever. But when they leave, it turns into leaves. What? It does. I'm confused. Why? You just blew my mind. That's a little much. I don't oh, know. It's not. <laughs> What's up, Frost by Air and Heat? Welcome, Carolina Screen Printing. What's up? Shannon, give him a, a big yo. Yo! <laughs> so, anyways, I beat Super Mario Brothers 3 first, for, for the first time in my life, and I'm 31. So, yay! Yeah, I'm a little jealous. I, I'm pretty sure I beat hey, it when I was a kid. But hey, Jason. <laughs> I uh I started getting into it and playing it and I got to level five and Shannon got so pissed at me because it <laughs> took her about three months to get past the third level. I'm really bad at video games, guys. And she she got really irritated with me. He did it in a What's day. Up, I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And so he had to stop playing because I was like, I'm not going to play anymore. No, no, I'm not playing anymore. No, it just, it's nice to know that you're good at this. It's now something that you're better at me than. <laughs> oh, I, I was, I just threw such a good child fit. <laughs> Been trying to fix this Epson 7900 all freaking day. What's what's wrong with it? What's what's going on with that? Well, I, I tell you what, we'll we'll dive into that. I'm gonna go ahead and, and transition over from the the hey, little hold screen and everything, and then we'll talk about your your printer woes uh, amongst other things. Isn't that right, Shannon? Yeah. Woo. Wee. <laughs> hey, free press. <laughs> you know, Free Press, I actually went to school in San Antonio. She did. Okay, uh, we got two questions. Uh, or Well, we have one thing we can comment on, and then we have another question from You Can Do But it. what is up, everybody? <laughs> it's Matt with Mikey Designs here. Welcome to our Shop Talk live show. If you're new and you're tuning in for the first time, we appreciate it. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. We're just going to kind of... Shoot the, uh, you know what, for a little bit, hang out and talk about uh, screen printing things, such as like what everybody's been up to this week, what issues anyone's been having, questions. And so... Oh, you hush, Jason. Shannon, <laughs> what, you, what Jason said. <laughs> <laughs> he can beat Super Mario Brothers 1 in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, one, yeah. Hey, yeah. indigenous... Yeah, Shannon got irritated uh, about that that one too because I'm I beat it. It took me probably about an hour. But granted, I was playing it online with a keyboard in which everything is just stupid weird on it. It makes things that much harder. That, that's fun. But uh, let so let's see. Rye Beats is having problems with his. 7,900 all, all day long. And let's see. Free not press, printing black. You. Just looks like it's printing the clear solution. Change the tubes and everything. Man, so it's... So you don't have an all black system. You're using just the black settings. I'm, if I'm getting this correct and doing your film that way. And it's just not working for you. You know, from my experience, to, to be honest, when I was working for Gala Industries, one of the things that we did, because it's kind of easy to troubleshoot cleaning the heads, putting new ink in it, and all that fun stuff, and there's minor things you can do as a, a person trying to problem solve, troubleshoot, all that, but I would find uh, there's places that repair printers they might charge you a couple hundred bucks or whatever depending on what the printer is uh, i i know that the printers that we had at work they were about four thousand dollar printers and instead of having to buy a new printer we would send it out whenever we had issues with it that we couldn't fix and it, it would take them maybe about three days and they wouldn't solve any issues with it sorry to hear that man but that might be the, the best way to go unless, I don't know, unless you can find some other printer that will work for you. Okay, so free press. Um, I went to St. Mary's School of Law. That's where I went to law school in San Antonio. I lived in the medical district. Loved it. Everything was 25 minutes away max. And you... <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, she, he, he, she was asking uh, about where I went to school because I said I went to school there. Um, and you mm -hmm. can do it. God, that's so much fun to say. Um, he it. wants to know if we have an affiliate link for AccuRip. He tried it for the first time today. It's awesome easy. He's going to buy it for my shop to his shop tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we we do. Actually, email me, matt at mikeydesigns.com, and I will set you up with that because we are... We are affiliated with um, the the peeps over at um, Freehand Graphics that do Separation Studio and AccuRip. So yeah, you know, email me, Matt at MikeyDesigns.com. We'll set up a um, uh, a purchase order and all that stuff for you. So that way we can get you set up, and then we can get a little bit of 
the commish the throwback into this channel like getting a camera for for shannon put her um. on put her on the spot <laughs> Create you some know, other if cool you tutorials. Go, like, use another link. It's completely fine. We understand. Uh, <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> All right, Shannon, Sam. A. M. Shannon's nervous in the service about getting on camera. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of well, it's kind of like the comedian thing when um they had that wedding video and the bride's like all excited and stuff and they have the video photographer. And you just hear one of the, uh, they, they lift the veil up and you just hear one of the uh, altar boys go, aw, she's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say. You can, you can put an ugly girl in a pretty dress. She's still ugly. You're really not <laughs> helping me. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, it's true. It, well, you know, I, I learned that expression through the the art director at the, the job that I was That's at. That's charming. That's that absolutely eventually charming. Eventually, I took over his position by default because he passed away hey samuel's views but he he was just hilarious he had all these funny little sayings and all that and uh one of the things if i came up with some artwork and then changed it up a little bit he just always had these these goofy sayings like i don't know that's that that's no more a dinosaur than i am or standing in in the garage doesn't make you a car just Goofy stuff like that. He, I don't know. He was hilarious. Anyways. Hilarious. <laughs> no anyways to it. Charlie's tuning in from, <laughs> from above, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Now I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, anyways. Yeah, I'll be an ugly girl in a dress on camera. That's what we've gotten to. Anyways. What's up, Eddie Jr.? Uh, free Press. I, I think you already said hello. Yes. Uh, we have a question. Sam A.M., I really kind of like that. Uh, one story is about whether we do anything <laughs> special for packaging for customer service, extend all the way into the delivery, special packaging things, inserts, discount cards, cuddly toys. <laughs> really? I, I think we need to get a little more on that. Okay, so de depending on how many shirts they are, okay, I'll say for one, Shannon folds them unlike any other person folds them. Like she neatly kind of uh does like a military role if if it's a smaller order a lot of times we will flip fold and put them in a uh, poly bag along with the a little size label on it because we do offer that as a service so it is kind of like hey this is what we can do for you and we charge x amount per t-shirt to do that Aside from that, I mean, we put business cards in there and we... There's always a handwritten I've, thank you on the invoice that we include. Yeah, so we include the invoice after... If you go back and look at one of our, our videos of how we manage our shop, we always have a printout of the order that has all the details and, and everything in it. And we'll write a, a handwritten thank you. Sometimes it's a little more than just thank you. But oh, it, it's oh, a little pro tip, like pro that. tip, pro tip. Churches, pro. I write God bless on them as well. There we go. Churches, <laughs> you get a God bless. God bless you. They like that. They do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, we, we keep a pretty solid relationship with hey, a lot of our clients without a whole lot of the flash that goes in there. We tend to put a crap ton of business cards in the boxes. <laughs> Jason. Hey, Waldo. And I mean, that's, that's about it really. I, um, and we've, we've had ideas about putting s additional things in there like stickers or we we're actually, we were actually talking about that today. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things we we're talking about today. And we're, we're slowly working towards doing stuff like that. I, I'd say like a small shop for ourselves. We don't have a, ton of money to spend on that kind of stuff i, I saw rye beats sent a a shirt to t-shirt chick a couple shirts if you hadn't checked her channel out go go check it out she put some pretty cool stuff up cool person and he, he I, I think he included a a button rye beats you'll have to the fill fill us in but there, there were a couple little small knickknacks that he put in there so you might want to be 
do a, a at Rye Beats. Ooh, ooh. Um, yes, 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 sure. Speaking of shirts, though, getting sent out, guys, I promise you got, your shirts are on the way. We've just been kind of waiting for um, a couple more orders so that we can just run them all off at once. I promise your shirts are on the way. Even Eric, if you're listening, Eric had his wallet stolen after he ordered one of our shirts. Yeah. He told me that he was going to go ahead and pay for it, and I was just like, nah, it's fine, but he, he's still <laughs> insisting. But if you're listening, Eric, I'm already, I've already ordered your shirt. I'm throwing it in there. You can pay later if you want. Uh, but I promise your shirts are coming. <laughs> and we have, like, three different questions. Jason, Carolina, I do not remember. Carolina um, says, turn the camera team. around. Turn the camera around so we can see her for for a second. Yeah. And you, would you like that? I'm gonna go ahead and she. I'm telling you, she's gonna hide underneath her desk. I'm not gonna do it because. Wait, did we at, just get a thingy? Oh, it's blowing, Sam. It's blowing up tonight already. That's that's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Uh, it's greatly appreciated, very much so. Um. I, I completely got distracted now. Where, where were we at? Okay, I so don't even know. Turn the camera. Carolina screen printing yeah, is saying and, uh, turn the the camera around. And, and then, someone said you're barking up the wrong tree. So there. we will know who's <laughs> chatting with us. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. Go back to. I think it was the that was it the thousand T-shirt video log no. i i caught her on camera it was yeah, it a video been, yeah. log it, there's a video log you see me for half a second i, I i'll put, put it down <gasps> i'll put it down as a, a comment uh, or, or at least show that uh the video you, you can see her she's just kind of chilling taking a little little break on the the futon okay, okay and then so uh we've got a lot of questions okay already. um Go Jason, ahead. no, don't remember Sin 13. Um, I think I was mostly holed up in my apartment in like pillow forts trying to study. Um, but uh, She's ink- too busy playing Dungeons and Dragons. Go ahead. I still don't play Dungeons and Dragons. I don't even know how to play Dungeons <laughs> she's, and Dragons. She's that kind of person. Most of my friends do know how to play. Do They host a weekly thing of Dungeons and Dragons. I just don't play. I sit on the floor in color. Um, okay, so anyways, back to... Uh, ink works. <laughs> Inkworks uh, wants to know if it feels easier to charge artwork per job rather than per hour. Which okay. Is actually very and, resi- um, uh, relevant it's, right now. It's funny that you mentioned that because one of the things we wanted to talk about today is charging for art. So I imagine that's why the, the question came up. Hopefully. If not, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh it, it depends, really. I mean, if, if we're trying to win over a client, we might just include it as part of the job. Even if it takes a couple, two or three hours, we'll put the design together. They'll take that. Like, say, for instance, the the fire department here, we we have connections with, with a few of the people there. One of the guys I went to school with. And we'll put it, they'll say, hey, we want this as a, as a design. We'll put a design together. They'll post the design up in the station. They'll get a bunch of orders for it. And then it, it generates sales. And that that that's one way we go about it. But but also we do charge for artwork. Like say for instance, we'll put together an estimate. E- even if they don't I mean, we get questions and, and Today I was doing a little tutorial on vectorizing art because we have somebody that just wants art done. And if, especially if they just want art done, we'll say, okay, it's going to be X amount of hours to, to do this. And we need at least 50%, 50% down to start working on it. We'll, we'll get that 50% down, start working on the art, send a proof over, and then generally they'll have some changes and then once the job is completed i'll send the the native what what's called the native files your illustrator photoshop tiff like all all the files that they could possibly use for their artwork and it so we do do it on a, a per job basis um trying to i mean there's times when we don't charge if it's something simple where it's just like a quick typeset or whatever then 
really it's it's almost almost kind of considered part of the the setup process but depending on if they want some sort of design created like the the t-shirt design i don't know if you saw the video but I designed a, a t-shirt for uh level racing which m my brother he's been racing he, he's kind of out of it probably i don't know if he's taken a year off or whatever the case may be but uh we we charged them for the time to do the artwork and also for the the screen printing so they i, I think they that was one of the clients that just paid in full was it not shannon Yes. She paid in full. Yeah, she paid in full. If not, we need to be invoicing. No, she... <laughs> no, Oi, she... I am on top of it, okay? I know you're on top of it. I know you're on top of it. Uh, yeah, this so... This brain holds a lot of information. So, um, yeah, it, it depends, really. Uh, say, for instance, we'll have a church that tends to like to go to Custom Ink Design or CustomInc.com, which I hate just even meant throwing that out there but they'll go to their website the design program design something and then they'll share it with us and say this is the design we want and then so we just recreate the art quickly uh, when i say we i mean me uh i myself <laughs> shannon's actually created uh, artwork here recently uh, to help out as well because we were just completely slammed. I'm like, I can't take care of it. So yeah, she knows. She knows a little shirts. bit of photo. Not the print, but the shirts themselves. Oh uh, well, like, that's such a disaster. that's <laughs> that's just because you hadn't quite been exposed to. No, it wasn't about that. They said they wanted ladies fitted shirts in a higher quality. Than... Oh well, that's that's mm. that's not even part of the art in. So yeah, no, they were fine with art the art end, end of it. Um, so I I hope that answers your your question a little bit. I mean, if if quite didn't answer it really then you know just let us know and guys churches churches are probably one of the best jobs you're going to get just to um just to throw that out there because the moment they get you they're set they're loyal it's bureaucratic so they don't want to have to like you know go at go in and like start searching again and at the same time they are going to be the nicest people oh yeah they and also they're generally very happy with everything mm -hmm. and, and, there is and churches sometimes like that's one of the situations where they'll want something designed and i don't know sometimes we'll just include it we, we won't even put that as a, a separate fee we just consider it a just part of the job well, really just, yeah because they're like they're loyal they stay with you there was one time that we um we quoted them for a certain color of shirt and turns out none of our vendors had them and so we just we told them we're like hey we're gonna have to change the shirt color a little bit sorry right. and we brought them to her and she's like oh my god i love this even more yay <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah, so easy it's, it's just so easy they to make did. her happy versus like some of your other clients that are gonna be like nitpicky like the church as long as they feel like the donations that their members are making isn't being wasted or going to poor use. They're going to be pretty <laughs> happy with what, what they get. It, they, they're a great account to have. So if possible, try checking in and connecting with the local churches in your area. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. I, I, did we miss, did we skip past, um, let's see. Okay, it looks like we may have skipped past Eddie's question. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah, did, did Eddie, I'm, I'm, I'm on you. I'm on you. Don't worry. Um, okay, so uh, I think he used to, used to have a DX200. I was thinking of getting one because of the size price, 120 volt, or should I save up for a better one? I would say just, I would go ahead and, and get one because I I got one before the the uh the it's the the one i have now is like the dt422 which it's a force air dryer but that really launch kind of it, it will help you get your shirts out out faster versus i mean if you're curing them with a, a flash dryer at this point it 
I, I don't regret it whatsoever. And then as soon as I wish I would have kept it, but I, I ended up selling it to just kind of put towards the, the new dryer and it, it wasn't hard finding someone to buy it for at least two thirds of, of what I, I bought it for. And the, the only thing about it is, I mean, it, it's a good little dryer. You, you do have to have the, the 120 volt plug for it. So I, I had to have an electrician come in and install that. But at one point I did change the plug and plugged it into a 110 and it seemed to work fine before I sold it. But, um, mm. I, I don't know. Like, um, I, I definitely would recommend it. I wish I wouldn't have gotten rid of mine. It was a, a cool little dryer. So I'd say go for it. If, if you feel like you can hold out a little while longer and get something a little bigger and you have the space for it, then yeah, I definitely would get it like at least an eight foot dryer. But that, that little five foot dryer, man, it, it worked wonders. It was, it was pretty cool. Plus also one of the things I found interesting about it is the, the whole hood comes up and you can angle the element. So that way you can do caps as well. You can screen print on caps, set it on there and it will cure the, the, uh, the ink that you screen printed on a cap. So definitely a good buy. If you do plan on buying one, use our, our promo code, Mikey designs at cat spit screen print supplies. That way we get, it, it'll kick a little commission our way. So that way we can kind of reinvest it back into this channel. Okay. So I'm going to answer a couple of the questions. Eddie was also wondering Go about ahead. how to get a, um, gnome shop gnome shirt. Mm. Eddie just email me Shannon, S-H-A-N-N-O-N. Not at, Janet, but Shannon. S-H-A-N-N-O-N <laughs> at MikeyDesigns.com. Uh, send me your size and, and an address, and I'll go ahead and put that in the works, and we'll run it off with um, the rest of the ones that I know I'm super late on. I'm sorry, guys. And um, no, not too, too Mark late. wants to know what wanted to know if I was blonde or brunette. I'm brunette, curly hair, She's five brunette. seven, and oh. you don't Hold on, have I'm, any I'm gonna go right and... to know my weight. So there we go. Okay, <laughs> uh, um, Shannon, if you can keep answering some of these questions, okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find the the part that you're in in, in the video okay. and, and show people. Uh. <laughs> oh. Why, anyways, it's already, it's already up there. Anyways, what Mark, are you um, getting all fussy about? We uh, charge fifty uh, fifty dollars an hour for design. Fees. We do, but you know hey, what? Hey, Richu! Oh, I haven't gotten to say this in like a month or something, Richu! You, <laughs> you know, even though we we hey, charge Carl. that that fifty dollars <laughs> an hour, uh, I always tend to under kind of like does. estimate and then like we today charged charge like two. two two hours and I, I think it took me three hours but also i was doing a tutorial and not just like really hustling on things so that's that's more than likely my bad so bump wait, microphone wait. bite bump right beats yeah what what what, go, what 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 go ahead shannon what what were you gonna say no i'm just wondering he <laughs> says you can see her on the last printing video i swear to god those are those are grunts for divorce sir <laughs> oh man let's see i'm trying to find it i'm trying to remember where it was at what was it the, was it the, <laughs> the thousand i don't I know because it, there there was a it, lot no, of it, the tagline actually says shop no makes an appearance oh um, yeah that's right Bro, oh, I, I was pissed <laughs> dude I'm, I'm so clever what no it, it's not the the tagline it's like the little picture okay so it was the two color yeah one it, it, oh no you're right it does say shop gnome of course appearance i'm right because um <laughs> it, it, everybody's right except for me god i'm stupid <laughs> stupid 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 uh, I'm, I'm sitting here over here like it's Okay, if whoever's tuned in, if uh, I'll, I'll show you this real quick, just so you don't have to get off the live feed. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it was funny because I, I told Shannon that I'm like, um, I I all I wouldn't say always, I generally put her on camera 
on purpose just to kind of rattle her a little bit. He's such a charmer. <laughs> and she, it, it's it's hilarious because she's just like, <gasps> you you got me on camera. And then that one particular time, I got her on there and she, I was like, is that okay? Because it's kind of blurred out. She's like, yeah, you know, I get, I guess it's okay if, if it's for half it. a second and it's blurry. It's, it's, it's for <laughs> that. And, and she, she almost looks like she's wearing camouflage because she's sitting on the black couch over here and black has pants, all, black, all black on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to kick this over real quick. So you guys can see her. You're going to see my, uh, the OBS back in stuff real quick, but I'm I'm gonna show you. <laughs> this is this is Shannon right here at Carolina. Um, yeah. They've been the, bugging me to get on screen for months now. So, yeah, so there there she goes. <laughs> there she is. There, there's Shannon, the shop gnome, right there. That's what she looks like. That is her. Well, I'm gonna poke her nose with the mouth. She does it. She okay. We're. I'm working on it. I personally am working on it. And Shannon is absolutely sorry. Or she's not sorry. No, she's not sorry. She's not sorry whatsoever. She just doesn't <laughs> want right to be on camera. There she is right there. <laughs> and look at how happy I look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll have to go back and watch it because she just like, <gasps> <clears throat> she gasped. And for me, I'm just like, I don't care. Not not a, that she's on camera, that I put her on camera for, for myself. Uh, I'm just like, you know, I don't mind being on camera. And so there you have it. There's Shannon, the shop gnome, if you have not seen that video. Anyways, let's change the subject. You're <laughs> welcome. Okay, Shannon, then what questions do we have? Do we have any other questions that need we to do. be answered? We um, do. <laughs> God, I'm so I'm so flustered at this point. I hate you so much. Okay, I, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I hate you. Uh, let, let's <laughs> let's reverse the roles a, a little bit here. You, you're going to do the. <laughs> you, you're <Did> going. You? <laughs> um. Okay. Let Let's see what we've lucky. missed here. Okay, Shannon, and let's let's um. You're going to yeah. answer the questions okay, here. Okay, Eddie. Yes. So does totally people different like person the pro than the model. Um. Um, <laughs> okay, there's so many things. Okay. <laughs> I, Ray, miss. What, I, no, what's there's like 15 size? questions above that, and I'm like so lost. I, I'm point. just kind of reading off some of the, the comments. So they're, they're basically talking about um, some of the, the, the tax, spray tax, and all that. I, I personally like to use. Uh, Shit, I don't even know what it's called. Is it Pro Palette or something like that? Well, Shannon, that was funny. You'll have to, to go grab that. I don't know. It's it's whatever I get from. Uh, it, it's whatever I get. I don't even I don't even know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, you answered Eddie Junior's question. Yes. I haven't got my shirt now. I'm having <laughs> to go topless, Waldo. Um, sorry, you having to go topless. You know. But hopefully that's not an issue for anyone else around you. Maybe you've been working out for the summer like that, something like that, or you've been a sleepy potato. I don't know what the case may be, but okay. Thank you for the T-Rex drawing and a badass shirt at Rye Beats. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Jason has a question. I actually found that and Rye Beats has a question. Okay. Go. What is that question, Shannon the shop now? I don't know. I'm so flustered. I'm wondering if I'm drunk. Um, Jason wants to know, uh, what's the size or res I should uh, look at in Photoshop to know if it will print straight lines? I'm used to using Illustrator. Could you repeat that one more time? What is the size or resolution I should look at in Photoshop to know if it will print straight lines? I'm used to using Illustrator. Okay, so with Photoshop, <laughs> sorry, you, you, Waldo's funny. <laughs> he is funny. With Photoshop, I would make it at least two hundred DPI. Two hundred DPI, three hundred will be great. Uh, especially if if it's like solid text, I would use three hundred DPI. 
if you're doing some sort of kind of uh, spot spot process, simulated process work, or using gradients or anything along those lines, 200 will work fine. Uh, straight lines in Photoshop, I'm not sure. Let me go back and look at that question again. Uh, where, where was that question at? Just so I can kind of... Um, um, not on our screen anymore. I can tell you that. Okay, here it is. What What is the size or res I should look at in Photoshop to know if it will print straight lines? When you say straight lines, what do you hey, what, what do you mean straight lines? Because I mean, if if you go in Photoshop, if you're designing in Photoshop, you can use your your square marquee tool or or use your rulers. Hit Control or Command R to bring those rulers up, and you can click and drag from the top or the side. If you're dragging from the side and you want it, you're like, oh shit, I should have gone back and dragged it from the top. Just hit Option. It'll take that line and go. It will flop it. So, um, yeah, the three stick to 300 DPI at print size. So, say for example, if I'm designing something in Photoshop, and I know with my Epson 1430, the biggest print size we're going to be able to print on press is 12 by 15. I'll make my document 12 by 15 at 300 dpi so I, I hope that helps I, i'm i feel like i didn't quite really understand the question okay so carolina screen printing I, I feel better now i'm not the only one wondering we hear someone talking but don't know who you started it with buying another <laughs> uh, <laughs> we go back to <laughs> We are the off the subject <laughs> of me showing my face, okay? <laughs> let's go. Let's continue. Carolina he screen printing. I don't know if if you're a female or, or if it's just, your name's Carolina or if you're just in I Carolina. I think they're from Carolina. One of them. Uh, okay. Well, you know, sometimes we've assumed and didn't really know. So um, go ahead, Shannon, with the, the next question. Well, first off, I just want to say that I laughed at Waldo's comments of more people see Bigfoot than people see Sh Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely true. <laughs> that and the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> yeah. And he also says blind people say I'm sexy. Blind people say you're sexy? Hey. Oh, well. no, no, not me. Him. Oh, that's sexy. <laughs> yeah. like, He's not, what? like, on here insulting me. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's not what... That's not what I had figured, is that he's... I had, he had to readjust my mic. Ins insulting you. Um, no, but anyways... Um, yeah, now I gotta, I gotta turn you down Inkworks just a touch. Inkworks has but. had a se uh, several questions. Uh, she, uh, he, she wants to know what we think of Fiverr. Uh, Richu, he, he wants to know how we work distressed, worn out effects on designs. Transparent ink. Okay, so. Sorry, Carolina, we're like trying to catch up. Yeah, so my thoughts on Fiverr is it's a great thing. Sometimes I just want to send a lot of crap over to Fiverr. Uh, I, I will say that our, our, our website I was having some issues with it being really slow loading because I there's a, a Google page speed. I think it's Google page speed. Look that up. You can plug your, your website in there. And it, it was in, in the red. In, in, in other words, it was loading slow. And if your website is loading slow, then generally people will go to website if it takes too long to load up. <laughs> they, they they will go somewhere else, and so I I uh, Google Analytics as well. I noticed that the the bounce rate was was going up. So I, I think I paid eighty five dollars for them to a transfer my website from a subfolder after I designed a new one. I, I posted it up, but it was linked to uh, MikeyDesigns dot com slash silkscreen. I just wanted it to be MikeyDesigns dot com. It was loading slow. There were some uh, issues with our SEO program as well. And the guy knocked it out in about 48 hours. It, I wouldn't say the guy. It, it's a 
more than likely a, a company out in India, but they they did a great job, and now the everything is like um, in the green when it comes to uh, how quickly the desktop and um, mobile uploads. So I, I wouldn't be afraid to, if you need an artist or whatever the case may be, Fiverr.com is great. And what was the, the other part of that question, Shannon? There was no other. Uh, that, was that it? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. But you did get scolded by Inkworks for vaping on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I tend to do Vapes that off, off camera. Let's pretend no one saw I, that. I tend to do it off camera. Oh, no, I dropped okay, something over so here. So Richu has a question if you want to actually. Can you put Richu? that over here at least? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll slide it over to you. Richu has, um, wants to know, like, how do you work distressed, worn out effect on designs? Transparent ink? No, generally with a, a distressed print, I'll actually go and take a texture. And let me switch this over to the desktop real quick and then just kind of show you. Got it, Eddie. I don't know. You, you could type in distressed um, Thank you. pattern or something along those lines. And... A, a, a lot of times you can find something that you can use to kind of punch out your image a little bit. Um, I might do something like this and find a, a pattern like this here where it kind of makes it look like it's it's already cracking. Because you, you guys know with uh, even like this t-shirt here, it's, it's starting to look a little distressed. So you could take this pattern here bring it over into illustrator and then let's see how quickly i can get this load and then do something along the lines of just take your your image trace let it trace it off expand it and then let's just say shop gnome we'll just put some quick text here and so i'll, I'll take something like this and then i don't know i might squish the crap out of it and then stretch it out and then um maybe overlay this in white or i might actually knock it out of the the actual design um let me send this to the, the back of it excuse me i let me back up for a second there so i'm going to select this white part here select same fill color get rid of that and then overlay something like this on top of it and, and that's one way to to get a little bit of a distress effect i'm going to send that to the back uh, with a with a font that's bigger thicker or, or a graphic that's thicker than that you know you, you get a little bit of a, a distress effect and then the next thing is I actually, hey, how do y'all like that? Y'all like the um, back end of things? Um, one of the other things, uh, when it comes to the stress, let's say it's a, a white print, is instead of doing a print flash print, we'll actually just print it once. We'll just flood, print it, and then it's off the press. We don't even have to flash it. Just stick it on the palette. If you're doing it manually, just hit it once, pull it off, and then throw it through the dryer. The The other thing is, let's say if it's a darker color, don't put as much pressure down. Flood it, and then you, you can you can actually get a little more creative with it, especially manually, because you can, you can hit that print and not completely clear the screen and it will have that distress look so uh, i hope that helps them <laughs> what are you what are you grinning about over there sorry <laughs> I'm, I, I'm talking to uproar about vape juice um <laughs> oh, vape juice. okay so um we had another question 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 i can't get over Questions. this thing is so hard that's what she said um, Oi! <laughs> all right, let's take a look. I'll, Are you ten? I'll, 
I'll help you catch up, Shan. No, I'm not 10. I'm a 37-year-old okay. grown boy. Yep. Yes, um. you are. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, you can do it. Is there a specific underbase white if it you is? You can do it. Go ahead, Shannon. You can do it. Sorry. Is there a specific underbase white if it is 100 covered by overprint colors? Uh, really, just choose whatever ink that you like. You don't have to use anything in particular. I, I tend to like to use Will Flex's Epic Amazing Bright White. Sometimes I get those flopped around. But uh, to me, that's easier to print manually. I would say if we were automated, then I, I oh, don't hey, know I necessarily you. necessarily that I, I I would consider others, but I hate it when it's thick, when it's really thick, and I'm having to just I like things to be as easy as possible and get the results that I want, and that ink tends to give me the results. We we did a uh, a little bit of a review on. The Fusion 180 ink, which I'm still trying to get uploaded. You haven't had that uploaded yet? No, not yet, because I've I've got about three other videos I need to work on. Anyhow, point is, <laughs> it it was really thick. Just bask in my judgmental it was, stare it, right now. <laughs> you didn't get it out yet? <laughs> well, you... Why don't you edit it? <laughs> yeah, because that'll go over well. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do we're gonna do a Shannon edit. Not that I'm like the greatest video editor, um, but I mean, I I was impressed with how opaque the ink is. But it was it was like going it was like a back step to me because it just is really hard to print, even with um, uh, a, a lower mesh count. And then after we printed it, I think we did a shop gnome shirt or two, and then I showed <laughs> Shannon, and she's like, "I don't, well, that was funny. I don't like the the feel of it." No, I didn't, and I didn't no. like the way that it took away some of the detail. Anyways, we have <laughs> like fifteen questions here, and I'm just trying to Brian get to the says, most. Hi, questions. Shannon. <laughs> That's like from a very long time ago. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just okay. saying that Shani's still rolling. Yeah, I know that still Shani's rolling. still rolling. Thank you for that. I love you. Thank you for that. You're amazing. Okay, um, go ahead. Uh, I want to see where you're at. Uh, wants to know about if what you think about Affinity Designer, um, Inkworks shop management software, yay or nay. Uh, Roy Bates is talking about vape juice, and also, <laughs> do we ever want to throw in the towel and quit? Every day. <laughs> you should hear him. Okay, just to, just to answer you real, fa no. real fast, Rybates, you should hear him on his bad days when he's cranky. He's like, oh, I'm going to go get a different job. And blah, blah, blah. I, he's going to shut the whole thing down. I'm, I'm just like, I'm, all right. <laughs> I'm Jekyll and Hyde when it comes to my personality. I'm, I'm as easygoing as sweet as can be. But when I'm pissed, I'm like, I'm, I, I'm hulking it. I, I don't know. Sometimes I'll break shit. And um, mm -hmm. the Shannon, <laughs> Shannon will tell you. Um, yeah, okay. The, the be if honest, I'm lucky, it's his shit. <laughs> oh, hush. Yeah, it's, it's whatever's in the way. It's a tornado, okay? So I'll say, I'll say this. There, there's been plenty of times where I've just been absolutely frustrated or I'm not happy with the way a print is going. Actually, we we did the uh, the racing shirts. I'm like, man, I wish I had more time to adjust this, this, and that. And I was just so irritated oh, with the so way mad. things were going, and just knowing myself in my mind what tweaks I could make as far as how the print was coming out. And so uh, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm like, shit, I'm printing these shirts. If and a lot of times clients don't realize what we see, what we think about. They they showed up a little early. I think we were down to the last what six shirts. Uh, about, maybe about that. About maybe nine or so. It was two rotations. Right, and, and so I I was just kind of like I, I'm not happy with it. Although with the time crunch, we got them finished. But yeah. she came in. She's like, "Oh my god, they look amazing!" And then she's after like, oh my that, god, I love 
them. After that, I was like, okay, it's cool. The, there's other times when if we completely, let's say, for example, there was a job we did for school. And I don't know how, but when I picked up the artwork, the, the year got left out. And we're talking about. 500 shirts with individual names on the back <laughs> and and then it's just they still it, came back it was one of those things where i was just kind of like oh my god we probably may never hear from them again although we're doing the same thing again this year um <laughs> but they, they were understanding they, they were understanding and um i'll say one more thing. When I first started, I had a, a homemade wooden press, and I I, uh, I, ha I had my regular job, and I was counting on this to be like some extra money to, to put back into things, and also just to pay bills. And what happened w was I, I printed my shirt, flashed it, and then um, did another print, and all of them, because it was a really crappy... Uh, like, I, I eventually fixed the the registration issues but that thing was walking all over the place and i went and showed the dude that i did the shirts for who i actually worked with and i was like man i tried to get these done for you in time uh bef and even at that time i didn't have a wholesale vendor i didn't know who to go to so i was buying them from jiffy shirts and they were about three bucks a shirt they were like three dollars a shirt i was using I don't even remember what ink, but I completely botched it. And then, so I had to take a, a hit on it. Mm. And I, I remember also getting ink all over the shirts. I didn't know about a blowout gun. And so there was ink on the shirts. That was another issue. And I just remember working on them till about three in the morning and I went in bed and just cried. I'm like, I'm going to give this crap up. I'm going to give up. I'm not going to do it. And I'm going to just, I'm going to figure out another way to, to make money. But luckily, uh, when I do get in that type of, when I do feel that way, I, I kind of push on because I don't really see myself doing anything outside from playing music. But that's not, that's not all, it's not as family friendly, I'll say. First off, what I can comment on that about is, um, you know, when you do get like that, you're like, I'm quitting, blah, 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 because just because you're grumpy. Yeah. Um, and you're like, I'm going to go find a new job. And I'm sitting there going, well, shit, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> and second off, what something I've noticed. Run the business that, and hire <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Thanks. I'm going to be CEO, apparently. Um, but it always comes back. But what I have noticed, though, is when you're in that terrible mood, so many more mistakes. It's like a, it's a snowball in performance. So that's another reason like I always want to try to like emphasize like a positive attitude is because when you're in a bad mood and you're printing and you're frustrated and you're not calming down, more mistakes get made and then the entire order goes to shit rather than getting frustrated with something, taking a couple minutes to cool off and then coming back to it with a, with a cool head to be able to, you know, you know, I'm actually trying to give a good point here. <laughs> you are giving a good point. What, I can't look like the dude from Star Trek, the, the black guy? I don't even know what I was talking about anymore. How to... How yeah, come back, just come back, calm down, come back, and yeah. neutrally assess the situation rather than just keep pushing on, keep pushing on, even though you're pissed off at it because you're going to get make more mistakes and yeah. that's something i've noticed that when matt is actually angry about the way the art is coming out kind of tends to happen and i'm in the background going um we have another pinhole <laughs> or can you check your hands because i'm getting a lot of smudges on the sleeves i'm like why don't you check your hands <laughs> yeah. you look at your hands huh <laughs> there's nothing on my hands and i, I don't know i mean yeah it, it can be frustrating it's it's not the easiest thing in the world oh to, yay Ray Beats. Just, go on profession it's not the easiest profession i'll say that and, and then also the service and there's times when it's just it, it can be a headache dealing with whatever the case may be well that's why you have me 
Yeah. So <laughs> if I'm frustrated or whatever, and, and, and even aside from having uh, good support and all that, even just walking away from it for a while, the, the cool down and, um, I, sometimes you can't do that with a deadline, but however, you just got to kind of figure Five out a, 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 a way okay. to, uh, a way to just kind of get your attitude back and problem solve, Aww. wherever the case may be. Okay. Shannon, the shop gnome, any, any more questions? Uh, yeah, a lot. Um, yeah, we, we better get on it then. Yeah. Um, this, yeah, the chat's like blowing up tonight. Try 30% curable reducer. Question. You know, I, I've never liked okay, mixing in curable reducer. Okay. Jorge. Uh, but thank you. And, uh, oh, oh, excuse me. I, I didn't even read that right. Try 30% curable reducer. And you, you're absolutely right about that. Excuse me. I thought we were still looking at or, or talking about, um, I don't know where the hell, hell my head was at with that. But yes, thank you, Jason N's Curable Reducer will help too. Um, you can put a little bit of soft hand additive in there as well. Maybe even using water-based ink. Go ahead, Shannon. What, what were you going to say? First off, I just want to say you, that I want to meet all of you. you in you're the man. Okay, Jorge um, is still ask. He was asking a second time about any idea on Affinity Designer. And then Inkworks was asking about soft uh, shop management software, yay or nay. So let's okay, try to the those first. the Infinity Designer. I'm not even sure what that is. So if you could fill me in on what that even means, I'm I'm really not sure <laughs> what that means. So um, and then shop management software. I would say it's it's a, a great thing for for us. And and we've had a discussion uh, recently. W- recently, and got a phone call from uh, somebody, a, another YouTube personality, and you probably might know who I'm talking about. <laughs> However, um, yeah, and and so uh, to to not give too much away, really. Um, we're or let's just say we're gonna we're gonna give their their software a shot and see how it works out for us that we once it comes out we'll we'll have more feedback we'll have more feedback about that we we've used printavo okay we have used printavo and i'll say one of the cool things about it was being able to know what's due when uh what stage it's in um We've based our how we manage our shop around software like that, and then from my experience working for uh, a a print shop, not not a screen printing shop, but an actual uh, shop that did business cards, letterheads, brochures, and all that. They had a specific software designed for them to help manage all that, and they put it in stages, uh, almost like. Printavo, and I will say that the the amount of work that was coming in and out, and then even for ourselves, it definitely helps. There, there's definitely pros to it. Shannon, I don't think on the on the other hand is too gun ho about it I'm because really not. she uh, that's where her job comes in is she is the shop management. She she knows what's going on with the orders, orders the shirts. Um, due dates, who needs artwork and, and all that stuff. So if the, I will say the reason she's not too gun ho about it is, is if you get the software in here, then it's like, you know, a, I become redundant that the, her job is kind of like, it's like, it's replacing her, her job to an extent aside from marketing and, and figuring out new ideas and like, all that. Yeah. But, but I mean, but also at at the same time, if, if there was more time for marketing and that was more automated, then yeah, we could bring in that much more sales and perhaps pay Panda to come in more often. So Panda is, is someone that's been coming in to reclaim screens and help out and it will, it will, it will help. 
it just be able like to it's uh, taking uh, away my job. Not not entirely. No, well, no, it, no it's I mean, not there's entirely. The customer no, service no, part no, of everything. Yeah, there's a the customer service care. part, but you know, it's forcing my job into a new direction. When I was ha- when I was really comfortable and happy with where my job management was going, it doesn't really feel like I'm a manager. There's a freaking computer that's a manager, and that's taking care of right. everything. And besides, well, you know what? No one is going to nag you about getting this shit done bef- the way I will. Right. So, so one of the the things is like I, I, don't, I don't care what software it is or whatever management software. You're always going to have to. You're, there's always going to be somebody to talk to, somebody that isn't want that will not want to go through your whole software and all that. They want it done more manually. Uh, we we had a client that got a little irritated that we did use our uh the way we do things to process payments or like they don't want to they didn't want to go through paypal essentially uh they were worried about that so uh print management software yay for me nay for shannon yay in the, the sense that it, the thing that i want for our website personally is for people to get a quote online and actually kind of figure out, okay, this is how much I'm looking to spend rather than, because there's a lot of times that it's, it's just inquiries just drop off dead and we don't hear anything. So, I mean, I can think of pros, pros and, and cons. So, I really like the way we have things set up, but also I I see benefits. Shannon, I I, I think I, I is I see the benefits. It's just it's there, like, there's a selfish aspect to it. There, there it's kind of like I imagine when um, ATMs came to banks. Well, what's my job gonna be? Uh, I don't I don't know. You're jobless, or I I don't know what the solution is. Um, Shannon, don't worry. You won't ever be jobless you're quite brilliant at marketing and uh the the print management software and all that you know i I feel like we're having an open discussion here uh, about uh (laughs) probably i feel like suddenly i'm just like sad i'm just like oh don't be sad about it what What's there? What's to be sad about making things because easy and making more money? Because it took so long for you to, tra- uh, to teach me everything, and it was well. That's it, not going to go to waste. I guarantee you, there it's still not going to go to waste. There's still people that are going to want the quotes the same way. So I, I think you're. Uh, I I feel like it's it's becoming a, a bigger kind probably. of probably like this is going to take this no. No, not at all. There, there's nothing that's that would replace. You're right. Okay. What you do. So, so. thank you, thank you. Transitioning on. Transitioning on. <laughs> okay, Next guys. Question. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I am so. You guys have been blowing up the comment section this time <laughs> for some reason. I don't know what's in the water, but um, if there are still questions, could you mind repeating they're, them so I can read them from the bottom and like, not away. like filter. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, yeah. That, let's see. Uh, Ever wanted you, to quit? <laughs> I, was, I just had so much fun saying that. For you. <laughs> okay, we got some questions to, to each other. Right, are you going to go? Resupply. Let's see. Where where is everyone Baca. like to get their, their, their <laughs> screens from? Resupply. They're, you know, they, they stopped in to the shop recently. Too and I, I don't know. I... I have my preferred vendors to go to. So whatever works for you. Uh, I use an Ep- Epic ABW, also pretty good. The print and basement. Temp is about 62 in the summer. 50s. Okay. All, all ink is to... You can do it all. It, ink it, you can do it. Try try the, the Will Flex. Give that a right. try. The Epic, amazing, bright, white um okay uh, talking about the the printer uh, um, sorry. 
<laughs> Mark is like, everyone is funny. <laughs> like, Change the tubes. Hard. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ride beats. Okay. Is that I make, I make my own screens. That's pretty awesome. It's like just doing it yourself. Like I've, I tried that in the beginning. I mean, you, you have to have the proper equipment to get the, the proper tension, the proper Newtons. Uh, Richu, as Shannon says, 2010. That's say it, how Shannon. Say. How's it go? Richu. <laughs> Richu. I'm all in for making a lot of money with less responsibility as possible. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, don't get gold up or no name screens. <laughs> you know, I haven't. I I've ordered film through them, and their film is actually great. Um, let's see. At Rybeats, okay, so it it looks like uh, for the most part uh, a lot of chatting going on. How do you well, feel Rybeats about actually does have a question. question? Yeah, yeah. Is it the how do you feel about people lowballing, or was there something else? Shannon, yeah. What are you drinking? She's drinking um, vodka, which she answered. Okay, so how do we feel about people lowballing? I mean, really low balling prices. Wow. I got a message from a customer stating that he found someone else lower, basically one color front and back about 350 Jeez. Okay, Are I'm going to let... Are they <laughs> Probably not. Okay, let's assume that he's saying that they are supplying the shirt. He wants Shannon, 25 shirts. Holy shit, no. Shannon... Absolutely and, not. Charge what you're like actually worth. It's not. It's not even worth your time at three twenty-five a shirt for twenty-five shirts. Absolutely not. No, that's I ridiculous. Would, I would tell them to take a hike and and go with that person take that a offered. Hike, go with that person to do see it the at three fifty. Do and then see how happy they are afterwards. We we would even do three fifty for um, twenty-five did, shirts. We did the thousand shirt order for about and, and that's, $350. I mean. W- but so that's about it. we we have a screen fee of twenty dollars, and then we have a price bracket that's twelve, the the thirty six shirts, and just for the printing alone for one color is is two sixty five. But if someone's providing the shirts, no, it's two seventy. Is it two seventy? Yep. Okay, so it's it's two seventy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I I'm just glad I knew it off the top of my head and. That if they're providing their own shirts too, we'll charge them about one a dollar seventy five per shirt if they're providing their own shirts because that's how we make profit. I I would say generally a one color print on t shirts where it's somewhere in the the ballpark for twenty five, we're somewhere in the ballpark of like ten to twelve bucks. I don't know. Is it just is it just me though, or is anybody else noticing that the vendors have been upping their prices for the blanks because we're yeah. up 14 anywhere from 20 to 14 cents with one of our vendors now, just for blank is that just tsc i don't i don't know um we i've only been using tsc lately because it's been the cheapest but now it's starting to hike out of nowhere um and so now they're starting <laughs> to match the prices of san mar and at sns so I just, I don't yeah. know, TLC is like hiking. Let's see, Jason Enns was saying, yeah, they probably have 5,000 blanks that they got paid nothing for. So I don't know, maybe they're providing the blanks. I, I will say that when we did the 1,000 shirts, the, the more Import shirts... said it went up on, in, at SNS. Yeah, I think they're just going up everywhere, which sucks because then we have Inflation. to... Inflation! Yeah, our, our clients come to us and then it's... Hey, why why are you charging more per shirt? I'm like, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, they're just increasing the the price of it. If, if you feel like you can find the shirts for cheaper, then go for it. The most annoying thing though is when a client comes back after like three years or something. Is like, this is like so much more. <laughs> okay. Why is this more inflation? So Ink Inkworks asks. What is your biggest mess up? Mine's 325 shirts. Conveyor dryer wasn't set to the right time and the shirts didn't cure correctly. Dude, that is, that's a big hit. Uh, I, I, I will say 
I think my biggest uh, Shannon, what, what do you think is is the biggest since well, I know mine you've been part of it? I know mine personally. What, what is it? I fucked up on the most, and that's what probably why it? we haven't heard back from that client. I uh, was dicking around while the shirts were coming off the conveyor for a full on polyester. That one. Oh, and they kind of, or they maybe all just a in little, on each other and they got wrinkled and stuff. And I am very, very certain that's why we haven't heard from them when they were ordering every couple months, and we haven't heard from right. them in probably. Uh, <clears throat> that was eight a difficult months. print too. Though. It was a difficult print, but it's a beautiful print. I just, I was it, digging around on my iPad, wasn't paying attention when they were coming off the dryer, and they, damn it, they fell. Shannon. Sorry. But that, that, that's, my, that's my biggest fuck up. And that was probably I about... I knew it. How many shirts was that? Uh, but it cost us a really, really good client. It probably it wasn't 325 yeah. shirts, but it cost us a really regular, well-paying client. And, right. And um, I think this is the first time I'm actually telling you about this and my suspicions. <laughs> no, it, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm well aware of, of everything that goes on and... Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes shit happens, but Shannon, you got to keep your shit together. (laughs) Oh my God, it was like eight months ago. (laughs) It's, it's not that big. You know, they were supplying shirts. They're a good client and everything, but I, I, part of me felt like, part of me felt like it, it wasn't my best print work. Good night, Inkworks. Anyways. Good night, Carl. Um, so as Inkworks uh, is leaving, uh, he he asked what the biggest mess up was. Night, right, From what I recall, mine yeah, was it was about 150 long sleeve shirts, and it was the first time for me to screen print glitter, and they had a a red glitter heart on it, and I put a white base underneath it. I should have just print flash printed it, and this is when I first started, and I was still having to do the stuff in the middle of the night and then head to work. Uh, so, man, that, at that time, oh, I think, sorry, Inc. Uh, it was about $4.50 a shirt. I mean, at, at four fifty a shirt, and I think it was about 150 of them. You guys should see his calculator. I mean, that, it's the most ancient thing ever. That, that was, you know, I, I didn't make any profit off of that and they definitely did not come back i will say however though it did uh let me know that google adwords actually worked and got quite a bit of business that way okay is there any other questions before we we get out of here shannon because it is 8 13 and i'm hungry um i'm just gonna tell you guys how much i love you i love you lots yeah i we... love you this much <laughs> We we Where we do love come? you guys. We we Waldo do wants appreciate. to know where babies come from. Waldo, your belly button. Okay. My uh, my brother <laughs> and I, our cat was pregnant when Colum, my little brother, was probably two, and they asked where babies come from, and my brother just or where the kittens come from from the pregnant cat, and <laughs> Colin just goes from her butt. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, guys, we're we're going to. Um, oh wait, wait! You can do it. Biggest mess can, up happened last week. You Bought can seventy-five do it. Gildan four, uh, forty-five eight hundred performance polos in size medium white and seventy-five in royal blue medium. The medium whites were mislabeled. They were actually small. Ooh. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you just got to bite the bullet on that one. It just sucks. What, what are the Okay, so one of the things about when we do mess up, no matter what the size of the order is, <laughs> we, we try to make things right. Yeah, and we also blame the vendors. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you do your best to just make things right. Well, even if we have to take a hit on the whole well, thing, yeah, we'll we will. We'll take a hit on it, but in a pinch, we'll be like, the vendor's dicked us over. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can <laughs> say that, that. I mean, <laughs> in the past, we we have kind of Wall not, taking, not taking responsibility for it, but we, we haven't done that here recently, I, no, I, I would I, say. I, I'm pretty good about taking responsibility if it's anything, you know, that happens print-wise, but 
if I screw up an order or something, I'm like, the vendor shorted us. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> and it's okay because you don't actually name the vendor itself. Yeah. You're not well, like throwing anybody under the bus. You're throwing a hypothetical. I think I think a, a lot of them people can the tell though whenever you're, you're kind of like displacing the the blame from actually like taking responsibility. We we do end up, you know, we we take responsibility for it. And we we make things right. We is do. is really the the point of it all. But sometimes you know it, it can be. We'll fix it. On it'll our be end. it'll be easy. To, it's it's always easier to find an escape goat. Well, but. It's, it's just like we'll use that excuse sometimes. All right, wait, Go ahead. What were we gonna say? Okay, we'll use that excuse sometimes, but we always like take the hit on our end to make it right. We do. We do. So, <laughs> and it sucks sometimes because like sometimes the shirts Mouse are kind ears. of expensive. But um. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's about. Um, is mislabeled shirts common? It was the first time I had that problem. Um, we've had a couple issues. We've actually gotten to the point where now every time that Matt is registering the screens and getting everything started up, I'm out there in the shop with him counting the shirts and making sure that everything is there. Yeah, yeah we, we've made we did that. Get, we did get screwed a little bit. A couple times by the vendors, which prompted. I mean, it, excuse. It happens often, and so every single time, and this is something that uh, I will say. Last year, we we didn't really do that. We kind of counted on our vendors to provide, uh, unless it's like a huge order. Uh, the the Elkins that was about five hundred shirts, where they all had to have individual names on the back. Uh, now we, as of I, I would say. This year, we've. I'm like, we have to count the shirts and make sure we have what we have, but and, and we're getting what our clients ordered because it's costing time and money to reset mm -hmm. all that stuff back up. And and sometimes it might be a couple of weeks later when they reply, even though it's it's in our um, our terms and conditions. You know, we give them, I think about either five to 10 business days to, to say, five. hey, is it five? Mm -hmm. Okay, so five business days. If they haven't said, hey, there's some sort of discrepancy in the order, then even still, we'll, we'll, um, we're we'll make it right. We'll make it right. Yeah, so. We really are. We're, we're such pushovers. <laughs> I think we, with Adalia, we redid her shirts like two times. Yeah, we're but she, she comes, I mean, that's why, we're at where we're at and our, our clients come back to us. It's why their clients love us because it's yeah. that level of customer service. Like yeah. we will do whatever we can to fix the issue. There you go. Okay. Right, we're going to go ahead question. and we got one more. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Sorry, no. Mark. <laughs> Ask it next time. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. I, I enjoy it, but also, um, I know I'm, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm getting hungry and let's um and Matt okay has been Shannon doing videos one, all day. Yeah, one more question and we're we're gonna get out of here, guys. It's, Bye, it's not Ryan that Eats. it's not that we don't like hanging out with you guys. Um we're we're ready to kind of wrap this this day up and get something to eat. So Richard. um Shannon, what is the question? Good night, Richie. Um Mark wants to know if we have a jig for screen printing hats or do we heat press it with vinyl? We do have a jig for screen printing hats. And and really what I did is I took a bad palette, took that palette and then made a, a little riser on it that was about the print size of a hat, put a little piece of wood in between it and just screwed it straight into the palette. Uh, the only thing we really can screen print on well is the the foam trucker caps uh, because with the, the five panel caps you you really do need a, a round jig you need those those flexible screens that go over it we don't have a a hat press generally i would say most of the time most of our clients want i don't think we've done screen printed <laughs> caps in a while everything's been embroidery <laughs> Sorry. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I, we really appreciate everybody that that has tuned in. 
don't forget to, to subscribe. Give some of our videos a like. Go, go back and watch some of our videos. Go over to our Facebook page. Give it a like. Follow us on Instagram. Shannon, Shannon's the, the woman when it comes to Instagram. She's running that, and she posts some really cool that. stuff. <laughs> also, I've been doing a, a lot more graphic design tutorials, start, trying to get into that. So if anyone out there needs Adobe software, use our, our link in the description. It helps support our channel. And also, if you're in the market for screen printing supplies or equipment, Use our promo code Micah Designs at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. And we're going to get out of here, you guys. Shannon, do you want to say anything before we get out of here and um, call it a night? Okay, so going back to the Tanuki suit on uh, the Super Mario Brothers 3, <laughs> <laughs> the reason why it's like so popular is because if you press a couple buttons, it turns into a stone statue. And actually, in Japan... They have a bunch of tanuki statues all around, but they all have gigantic testicles. <laughs> that, uh, and there you have it. <laughs> also, guys, big if Japanese I your questions, testicles, feel free to email us. <laughs> and all that fun stuff. Love you stuff. guys, hearts. Anyways, it's been it's been fun as as always, and again, we appreciate it. But we got to get going. We're out of here. You and your penis facts. <laughs>